write down all these important points which I am writing on this board. Indian polity, few important facts you should know before the start of the subject. The first one is that M. N. Roy gave idea for the formation of constituent assembly. M. N. Roy gave the idea for the formation of constituent assembly. Next, B. N. Rao was the advisor for the constituent assembly. Constituent assembly. Next, Cabinet mission decided in 1945 to have a constituent assembly. Next, 9th December 1946, the first meeting, the first meeting of constitution assembly took place. And Dr. Sachidanand Sina, Dr. Sachidanand Sina was the president of Constituent Assembly. 11th of December 1946, Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Dr. Rajendra Prasad becomes the chairman, new chairman for the Constituent Assembly. Next, 13th of December 1946, aims and objective resolution, aims and objective resolution was passed by was passed by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru expected question Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and you can write in bracket this is today's preamble next 26th of November 26th of November 1949, our constitution was completed. Our constitution was completed. It took two years, 11 months, and 18 days for the completion of for the completion of our constitution. Twenty sixth of November, every year we celebrate it as Constitution Day and twenty sixth of January we celebrate as Republic Day to commemorate. commemorate the constitution given by Motilal Nehru constitution given by Motilal Nehru during Purna Swaraj this is history part Purna Swaraj will deal with it Purna Swaraj Written guys, are you writing? Ligdia, Pura, Nichi Allah. Next, there are 22 parts.
ट्वेंटी टू पार्ट ट्वेल्व शेड्यूल्स एंड मोर देन फोर फोर्टी फोर आर्टिकल्स मोर देन फोर फोर्टी फोर आर्टिकल्स नेक्स्ट ड्यूरिंग द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ड्यूरिंग द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वी हैड वी हैड ओनली एट शेड्यूल्स वी हैड ओनली एट शेड्यूल्स एट शेड्यूल्स नेक्स्ट राइट डाउन ड्यूरिंग फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वी हैड ओनली फोर्टीन languages 14 languages 14 languages in 8th schedule 14 languages in 8th schedule next official language of official language of Nagaland is English. What is the official language of Nagaland? English. English. Next, state reorganization. State reorganization committee. State reorganization committee. was responsible for the formation of states different states was responsible for the formation of different states in india different states in india now under this make three arrows state reorganization committee make three arrows the first one is sk dhar committee next you have jvp committee and next you have fazal ali committee okay this three committee next point write down write down write down quick next andhra pradesh andhra pradesh was the first state in india was the first state in india andhra pradesh was the first states in india over next point various committee various important committee various important committee and in constitution constitution assembly in constitution assembly first is drafting committee drafting committee there were total 7 members there were total 7 members and the head of this drafting committee was dr b r ambedkar april 14 is his birthday okay next union union power committee next union parliament committee both was headed by pandit jawahar lal pandit jawahar lal nehru next fundamental rights for fundamental rights for minorities fundamental rights for minorities was headed by sardar vallabhbhai vallabh bhai patel sardar vallabh bhai patel
सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल नेक्स्ट provisions provisions from various constitution provision from various constitution come here come here various constitution first one government of india act 1935 गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट 1935, थर्टी फाइव द फेडरल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इंडिया फेडरल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इंडिया नेक्स्ट अंडर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया वी हैव लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स ओके विल सी वन बाय वन किरण आर यू राइटिंग नेक्स्ट आफ्टर दिस यू हैव वेस्ट मिनिस्टर वेस्ट मिनिस्टर वी हैव टेकन पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम ओके पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम नेक्स्ट देर आर मेनी मेनी थिंग्स अंडर इट आई एम नॉट गिविंग यू एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल नाउ वाइल एक्सप्लेनेशन यू कैन जस्ट कैरी ऑन रेफर द बुक वेस्ट मिनिस्टर This is UK. You can write in bracket. Westminster is UK. Next, Weimar. Weimar Constitution. This is not Neymar. This is Weimar. Okay. Weimar Constitution. Suspension of. Suspensions of fundamental right during emergency. suspension of fundamental right during emergency is taken from weimar constitution or it is also called as germany weimar is also called as germany next after that irish irish constituency constitution we have taken directive principles of directive principles of state policy directive principles of state policy next usa fundamental rights and then we have taken appointment of vice president appointments of vice president sir yeah weimar constitution mein article 21 except likh sakte hain we will write i have other facts i'll give you don't worry when i discuss fundamental right chapter that time i'll explain you okay written okay next write down provisions over various committees over okay take down facts some facts with the indian constitution india is the largest democracy in the world and we have the lengthiest constitution in the world lengthiest constitution in the world lengthiest constitution in the world indian democracy is known as quasi federal quasi federal indian democracy is known as quasi federal yeah Write down next schedule. Schedule number one. Name an union territory. Schedule number two. 
oaths and affirmation oaths and affirmation schedule number 3 salary and allowances schedule number 4 allocation of seats in rajya sabha schedule number 5 administration of scheduled areas scheduled areas administration of scheduled areas schedule number 6 write down administration of scheduled areas in assam meghalaya mizoram and tripura now inside assam you have bodo bodo kirby anglong okay that everything we have to study in detail dilip writing shell number 7 division of powers division of powers union list state list concurrent list shell number 8 languages today we have 22 official languages you can write 22 in bracket are you writing guys vinayak yes, likhte jao likhte jao shell number 9 amendment you can write down land amendments shell number 10 anti defection Shell number ten is anti-defection. Shell number eleven, Panchayati Raj. Shell number twelve, Municipality. Shell number twelve is Municipality. Shell number twelve is municipality. Written. Write down. Next important important cases. Minerva Mills, Golaknath, Manika Gandhi. केशवानंद बारदी केशवानंद बारदी इन फ्रंट ऑफ केशवानंद बारदी पुट 1973 पुट बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन basic structure of the constitution next various commission or committee write down swaran singh committee this is various committee i am giving you write down the heading swaran singh committee verma committee balwant rai mehta committee K Singhvi, Ashok Mehta, Ashok Mehta, G V K Rao, Ashok Mehta, G V K Rao. Okay, G V K Rao. Then you have already written uh, Fazal Ali, S K Dar, 
okay all those committees you have already written then write down mandal committee very important mandal committee these are all static part if something new committee comes then we have to study written okay now write down like this important parts and articles students preparing for cds nda or any upsc examination you have to buy at all the 22 parts but i am giving you little bit important which is expected in your exam part number 1 union and territory article number 1 to article number 4 part number 2 citizenship article number 5 to article number 11 part number 3 fundamental rights fundamental rights article number 12 to article number 35 part number 4 directive principles of directive principles of state policy next part number 4a fundamental rights fundamental rights article number 51a very important part number 5 sorry 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 fundamental duties here union territories sorry this is union government part number 5 is union government part number 6 is state government union territories part number 9 part number 9 9 a you can write panchayati raj you can write 9 panchayati raj 9 a municipality 9 a municipality 9 b cooperative society cooperative society next moving ahead 14 a part number 14 a tribunals article 353 a and 353 b next part number 18 m 17 you write down that will be official languages part number 17 official languages language you can write part number 18 emergency provision article 352 356 360 352 and 360 next part number 20 amendment article 368 article 368 Article three sixty eight. Written. Write down. Write fast, man. Yeah, union government. Rest of you are written. हो गया राइट डाउन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बाई कैमरल लेजिस्लेचर बाई मीन्स टू करेक्ट बाई मीन्स टू कैमरल लेजिस्लेचर लेजिस्लेचर मीन्स वेर वी मेक लॉज सो वी हैव टू हाउस in our parliamentary system correct 
टू हाउस इन अवर पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम दैट इज लोकसभा एंड राज्यसभा करेक्ट लोकसभा एंड राज्यसभा नेक्स्ट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फेडरल सिस्टम फेडरल सिस्टम इक्वल पावर्स इक्वल पावर्स फॉर स्टेट एंड दी सेंटर इक्वल पावर्स फॉर द स्टेट एंड दी सेंटर नेक्स्ट राइट डाउन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रिपब्लिक रिपब्लिक हेड ऑफ द स्टेट हेड ऑफ द स्टेट इज इलेक्टेड इज इलेक्टेड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली हेड ऑफ द स्टेट इज इलेक्टेड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली नेक्स्ट सॉवरीन सॉवरनिटी मीन्स freedom or you can say okay just write down freedom i'll explain you when i explain preamble sovereign republic sovereign social what is the meaning of social government does not have depend on private companies private individuals or private companies secular government does not believe in any religion or government does not give importance to any religion over next write down fraternity brotherhood fraternity means brotherhood fraternity meaning is brotherhood next write write down referendum referendum plebiscite these are the types of elections when dealing with the election chapter i will be talking about this plebiscite referendum written okay take down three pillars of three pillars of indian democracy three pillars of indian democracy executive executive legislative judiciary they are all independent they are all completely free no one is dependent on anyone else executive legislative judiciary president is president is head of the state prime minister is head of the government governor is head of state state means the karnataka you know andhra like that and chief minister is head of the government
इंडिया का हेड होता है प्रेसिडेंट ही इज द फर्स्ट सिटीजन ओके इन पॉलिटी स्टेट मीन्स बोथ यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड विद द सेंटेंस स्टेट समटाइम्स इट विल रेफर टू कर्नाटका स्टेट और आंध्रा स्टेट और समटाइम्स इट विल रेफर टू इंडिया एज अ होल स्टेट ओके रिमेंबर रेफरेंडम प्लेबिसाइट रेफरेंडम एंड प्लेबिसाइट बाई इलेक्शन कम हियर दिस आर द टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्शन ये दिस वन सोशल सोशल मीन्स डिपेंड डिपेंड ऑन एनी प्राइवेट कंपनीज और प्राइवेट इंडिविजुअल ओके we will not be dependent on any private companies on their tax money and all okay fine written have you written down all these things yes who is the first president of india डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद हु इज द फर्स्ट लेडी प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया प्रतिभा देवी सिंह पाटिल हु इज द सेकेंड लेडी प्रेसिडेंट द्रौपदी मुर्मू ओके द्रौपदी मुर्मू हु इज द फर्स्ट चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया टू बिकम द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया राइट डाउन जस्टिस हिडेतुल्ला जस्टिस हिडेतुल्ला कीप राइटिंग जस्टिस हिडेतुल्ला and uh, within 2 years remember this within 2 years india will have the first lady chief justice of india yes. okay within 2 years because now we have justice chandrachud yes. correct so after justice chandrachud the next chief justice of india will be a woman okay so india will celebrate that day because the first woman to be the chief justice of india got it so president over next national insignia this also is a part of indian polity system uh, tell me what is the national animal yeah royal bengal tiger it was declared after 1972 before 1972 it was asiatic lion okay national tree mango banyan tree what is that banyan tree okay national game national flower lotus national flower is lotus national heritage animal this was iit question national heritage animal elephant those who don't know keep writing it okay you may feel that ha uh, it's going in your brain or your mind it's not like that you have to keep writing and revising national heritage animal is elephant karnataka is called as land of elephants okay karnataka is known for land of elephant next national aquatic animal national aquatic animal which dolphin yeah gangetic dolphin next national fruit mango mango mangifera indica okay remember the biological name also yeah next what is the biological name of tiger biological name of tiger panthera tigris write down panthera tigris you may by heart national animal but in exam they will ask you biological name okay next what is the national bird of india peacock, peacock. all national days by hearted okay tell me which is uh, which day is celebrated as national youth day you are youth right till now india is not celebrating national old day okay that still another 40 50 years are there for you to celebrate that okay national youth day come on quick january 12 on the birth anniversary of swami vivekananda okay swami vivekananda next on which day we celebrate national voters day keep writing jan 25 who was the first chief election commissioner sumar write down jan 25 january 25 national voters day and world tourism day both lie on the same day national voters day and world tourism day both lie on the same day written 
Sugumar Sen. Sugumar Sen was the first chief election commissioner. And who is the present chief election commissioner? Rajiv Kumar. Rajiv Kumar. Written? Sukumar Sen, first chief election commissioner. Okay, next, Earth Day is celebrated on which day? March 8, write down, March 8 is International Women's Day. March 8, International Women's Day. April 22, Earth Day. April 22, Earth Day. Next, June 3, June 3, World Bicycle Day. June 3, World Bicycle Day. June 5, World Environment Day. June 5, World Environment Day. World Environment Day. Next, August 15, Independence Day, you know. Correct. Next, you have November 26, Constitution Day. December 25, Good Governance Day. December 25, Good Governance Day. October 2, you can manage it, right? Hmm. December 25, Good Governance Day. Then you have one more Divas, uh, Janajatiya Divas, write down. War, Indian Tribal Day. National Tribal Day, Janajatiya Divas, it was celebrated recently, started recently. Janajatiya Divas, Tribals. Janajatiya Divas, Tribals, it is in the month of November, November 11 or something, just, just cross check it, I don't uh, remember the exact date. Next, Parakram Divas, Parakram Divas. Parakram Divas, it is in the month of January, I think 23, 23rd of Jan or something. I am not sure about the dates, you can find out the dates and write. Next, Indian Air Force Day, October 8, Indian Navy Day, December 4, and Indian Army Day, 15th of January. Next, Na uh, Police Commemoration Day, October 21. Police Commemoration Day, October 21. Written? You can use mobile later. Google baad mein karo. There are some more special days. Okay, as the class proceeds, I will be doing it one by one. Right? Okay, listen here now. Pens down. Pens down. See, there was a king called a Jahangir. Jahangir was son of Akbar. Okay, and uh, what happens till the time of Akbar? This uh, places like Rajasthan and all these places, you know, it was all uh, covered by these Mughal emperors. Okay. So now what happened? Yes, sir, just a minute. Please be inside. So now what happened? Uh, uh, by the time Jahangir is coming, there is no enemy. Almost enemy is getting reduced. Though there was an opposition by the time of Aurangzeb and Shivaji, it was a different story. But now in Europe, there is a uh, competition. Like uh, French is competing with England. England is competing with Spain. Who will capture the world market? It started with trade. Who will do more business, more trade with the rest of the countries? So, things started during the time of Jahangir. Two people, they came. They started ruling, uh, coming to India. Start a company called as East India Company. Okay. The, uh, the, there are many companies. Remember that French East India Company, Dutch East India Company, English East India Company. Like this, many companies were there. And they used to fight among themselves. Okay. Portuguese will fight with English. English will fight with French. And these were all having a company called as East India Company. East English, English East India Company, French East India Company, like that. So the fighting between all these three people is called as Carnatic Wars. Which war? When English was having fight with France. Okay, English people here in India, they came for business and they both are fighting. And Indian kings, they are nicely match, like watching IPL match. Okay, they feel kitna maja hai. 
ओके बाहर देश से आए दे केम फ्रॉम यूरोप एंड हियर दे आर फाइटिंग सच ए नाइस व्यू दे आर एंजॉइंग द फाइट लिटिल दे नो दैट दे आर गोइंग टू रूल इंडिया सो नाउ वॉट हैपन आफ्टर विक्ट्री ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी दे हैड लॉट ऑफ मनी With that money, they started, you know, controlling the kings and the queens. So what they did, they started giving money to the king, and they told, "Your army should fight for me." Okay, you are the king. I will give you money. Okay, so you, you, whatever you want, I will give you. But your army should fight for me. So like this, English people, very few in numbers, they started doing this, and slowly they started capturing the whole India. By the time 1857 comes, the queen directly takes control. and now the queen says that i will rule india slowly this people they start as an experiment india was a lab india was a laboratory they started making some new rules and regulation and they made indians to follow that for example tax rules or panchayati raj, raj rules they started making rules so this is how the cab, the rules started coming into india okay the rules started coming into india we have something called as pits india act charter act so this acts were passed every 10 years every 10 years this acts were passed and there there was some new uh, revision of the rules increasing of the tax decreasing of the tax it went on it went on then in history we'll see what is uh, doctrine of lapse okay something like that now here let me go to 1909 okay this is called as morley minto reforms the real changes started from here your indian polity you can take it from here if you are preparing for ndn cds but if you are preparing for civils you have to go back to 1813 charter act 1813 1823 1833 uh, okay all these things morley minto they were the governor generals of india during 1909 expected question who was the governor general who was the governor general of india who was the governor general of india in 1909 answer is morley minto next 1919 1919 montego chelmsford montego chelmsford this reforms montego chelmsford reforms montego chelmsford reforms write down here diarchy very very important okay nda cds guys very very important diarchy was introduced in the provinces batata hu batata hu diarchy was introduced by the provinces in the provinces province we had three province bengal province bombay province madras province there were three provinces so for the first time montego and chelmsford they were the governor general during that time they wanted to experiment whether these things will work or not so they started introducing diarchy what does it mean bengal madras and bombay here dual government two government like we have lok sabha rajya sabha right like that yahan pe two government yahan pe two yahan pe two let us see they they just want to divide okay confuse indians about the rules and all so these things were going on so when they did it it was very easy for them to handle the administration so they thought this is working so why can't we do all over india so in 1935 we try to take this diarchy in the center government of india act 1935 government of india act 1935 diarchy was introduced in the center diarchy was introduced in the center you got it diarchy was introduced in the center now when india got independence in 1947 you know that just now i gave you the facts okay constitution meeting took place nehru was there b r ambedkar was there okay so they decided that this diarchy should be taken to the next form of the government so the, after 1947 you can say 1950 we become republic which year we become republic 1950 we become republic so in this year we have taken this into our constitution today it is nothing but federal system which system here federal system so the history of federal system goes back to 1919 okay diarchy system in the provinces diarchy in the center and then federal system in india but now india is not a complete federal state remember this india is a 
Quasi federal, half federal. Quasi means what? Half. Now, why it is called as uh, quasi or half or something like that? We'll see that in detail. Now, for example, what is federal? Suppose if central government decided uh, education system, I am going to make some changes. Now, the state government is deciding not to make some changes. Who will win in this game? <laughs> Suppose if I say that federal system is equal powers, if the state is telling no, central government cannot implement it. That is called as what? Equal power. But in India, we don't have equal powers. Now, for that purpose, I gave you schedule number 7, that is division of powers. Okay, I'll explain you that one by one, don't worry. Okay, so this is union list, state list, concurrent list, what happens, why it is not federal system. For example, GST. Okay, GST, we have goods and service tax. Okay, the central government is making a, a revision of the taxes, state government has to obey it. Okay, so what happens? It is a central a state subject or a central subject that you have to remember. National education policy is introduced. Okay, nowadays what is happening? The government is deciding if a student is good in sports, he should get credits in the academics like western countries. If an engineering student is taking an art subject and studying in engineering, he should get credit. Okay, that is how the things are. Now the things are like education system, they are completely versatile. For example, uh, Physics and maths is not necessary in second PUC if you want engineering. What the government is telling in the first year of engineering, anyhow in the syllabus they have basic physics, basic chemistry, all these things. So why to waste time again in first PU and second PU or the 11th or 12th standard? Now the system is 5 plus 3 plus 3. Understood? What you studied was 10 plus 2. Okay, they will say plus 2. How many of you are plus 2 students here? You will raise your hand. How the system works here? 10 plus 2. It was like this. But now the system is 5 plus 3 plus 3. Okay. 5 years of your basic elementary education. Then 3 years. This 3 years is your 10th standard. Imagine till, uh, till 6th standard you are here. So 7th, 8th, 9th like this year. Okay. 9th standard you will have a board exams. 9th standard you will have a board exams. Another 3 years, 10, 11, 12, another 3 years, you are going to prepare for your competitive examination. Whether it is NEET, whether it is JE, whether it is NDA, whatever it is. That's why before that only today, the qualification for the Agnipath is from 16.5, 17.5 to 21. Usually what happens, a 18 year old boy or girl completes 12th standard. Yes or no? 18 year old boy completes 10 plus 2. Now, he has only 6 months of time to prepare for NDA, right? Prepare for NDA or prepare for something like this. Now, look at this, what is going to happen? They are going to get 3 years. So, at the age of 15, you started preparation at the age of 18. But from this year, at the age of 15, students are going to prepare for NDA. They are going to prepare for Agnipath. So, things have changed. So, what I am trying to say, when you are in this market, you got a degree, you are searching for job, you are in a market, you are taking your resume and going that I completed plus two, I completed degree and all. But look at the next generation who is going to come next up behind you. They are telling I am young, I did 12th. Okay, so who will get the job? Right? And they are more technologically sophisticated. You know very well about your smartphone and uh, some languages. They may know better than that. They will learn AI, artificial intelligence. Correct? So this is what it is. And things are changing. You know Alibaba? Nice. Yeah, who is the founder of Alibaba? Jack Ma. Jack Ma. Okay, Jack Ma is telling uh, AI is good. This is your topic of discussion. Artificial intelligence is good or bad. Okay, for example, AI is good or bad. Alibaba is uh, founder. Jack Ma is telling. Uh, one day, there was a person. Basketball. Have you seen basketball game? Right? Those days in America, this was a pole. And here there was a basket. Okay, here there was a basket. And people will play basket. The ball they will throw inside. They will get point. And side, there will two people taking ladders. Okay, they will be having ladders. The moment the ball goes inside, they will keep the ladder. They will go up, take the ball. And they will give. Again, the game will start. This is how the basketball was played. Then one day, one person got an idea. Why are we taking, taking this ladder and doing all these things? We can make a hole here. Correct? If I make a hole down, what will happen to the ball? It will come down. Is it a good idea or bad idea? Good idea? 
but people hated this people told no it is a bad idea why because these two people holding the ladder will lose the job understood so this is what is technology development today if artificial intelligence comes okay people definitely will lose the job but they should get skill they should get equipped with the skill okay language skill computer skill or any other skill so this is what is happening so now new education policy can karnataka government stop it no so they don't have power in education system that is how federal system will be taken in detail okay we'll be discussing everything in detail don't worry so this is some important points that you have to remember okay so yeah the constitution that's what I'm telling you. No, okay. all the British government they made some rules and regulations that we have to follow. Okay. Tell me in English. I don't want in Tamil. Okay, yeah. Sir, yeah. Next, okay. Example, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As long as okay, how many years will be done? Okay, once the law is made, how many uh, years it can sustain? Uh, Otherwise, if the law is bad, I want to change. What should I do? Correct. Mm -hmm. That is the thing. Mm -hmm. so, uh, see, there is. There, imagine there is something right to property. We have. We'll discuss in fundamental right. Right to property. B. R. Ambedkar, Nehru, they gave. You, me, everyone had right to property. This is my land. Government cannot take my land. That was the right to property. Next, Indira Gandhi government came. They told, no, we have to remove this. They removed article, you know, this right to property because India is not developing. If I want to build a bridge or a road or tunnel, the people, they are telling it is my land. You cannot take my land. So what happens? There is a procedure. This is how polity will study one by one in detail. How to change a law? How to make a new law? Okay. How you are protected? If I ask you, are you citizen of India? You will say yes. What makes you citizen of India? Can you tell me? Just because you were born here, you are citizen of India? No, right? So, th th this is what this constitution is. What are the procedure to get the citizenship? Katrina Kaif get, got married to that guy. Who is that? Vicky Kaushal. Right? So, Katrina Kaif is trying for Indian citizenship, but Indian government is not giving. There is one more singer from Pakistan, Adnan Sami. Right? Hindi guys will know it. He is from Pakistan, but he applied for citizenship. He got the citizenship of India. So, how to acquire a citizenship? When will you lose the citizenship? Okay, then what are your rights? Okay, your fundamental rights. You go for election, what you do? If you don't vote, what will happen? All these things we'll study one by one in detail. You understood now? I gave you just some important facts. Go through that. Take a break for 5 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes, and we'll finish off this chapter as far as can. Okay, may aaj maximum jitna hoga utna me polity complete karnega koshish karunga. Take a jaldi aja. Jao, break leg aja.